ladies and gentlemen, referee Jaron Burrell has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 26 seconds of round number three, declaring the winner by TKO, Patrick the Predator Gauthier. I feel good, you know, first time since uh, 2008 I finished guy in the UFC. When I, when I was out, I was able to, to finish a couple of guys, but in the UFC, it's finally uh, I'm back on the knockout, <laughs> knockout uh, sequence, and uh, especially against Berkman, that's the first time in 41 fight that uh, he got knocked out, so it's pretty, pretty special. I was trying to be good everywhere. You know, this guy has so much experience that uh, this guy is a sneaky. You know? I, I was, uh, I, I, I thought that he would be a little bit more aggressive in the first round, but he was tentative. He was more, wanted me to get back in this game. So, like I said, he's sneaky, and I had to be careful. And uh, you know, that was a close fight. That was a fun fight, seriously. I had, I had a blast. Yeah, I wanted to be the aggressor. I wanted to go forward all the time, but uh, he surprised me a little bit with his counter punching. I knew that he was a powerful stri striker, a powerful puncher, but he's wild a little bit. So I was trying to be more straight with my punch, but uh, you know, during the exchange, that was just wild, and uh, you know, we had fun. You know, I'm 17 and one when I fight in Canada, so I tell you, I'm very comfortable fighting here. And uh, for sure, the crowd is amazing. I have a great, great fan base here in the, around the country. And I can't thank them uh, enough for, for the support. I think I'm pretty close maybe to, to, to get in the top 15. Uh, with a finish like that, that was a great fight. And I mentioned the name Hector Lombard. That's one reason because of that, because a year ago he challenged me on my second fight only on 170. And this fight didn't make sense at this time. But now, uh, you know what, if you want to still do it, I'm here. Now the fight makes sense and I accept the challenge now.